Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Sunday. The weekend it is scorching outside. Our hay is drying. It is drying good. Did you test it today? Yeah, it's still not dry. Still not dry. So in yesterday's video I said like post below all the like the, your worst thing that happened to you, your worst mistake, your worst accident as an equestrian. All these people were posting about how they did hay and they didn't do it right and then they caught on fire and burned the barn down. I'm like, oh, that's not the one I wanted to hear. Not when we are on the verge of doing hay, but well played. <laughs> Very well played. I think it was Susan actually that commented that. Oh, it was funny. But anyway, I'm paranoid. I'm panicked. She also said that she was in a, she put her hay in a, in a what kind of barn? Block barn. She put her hay in a block barn instead of the wooden barn. And I don't know how that had any difference and why a block barn made the hay catch on fire where the wood barn wouldn't have. But I think our barn is a block barn. Is our barn a block barn? It's made out of blocks. It's made out of blocks. So yeah, <laughs> thanks Susan. <laughs> anyway, we are headed out. We obviously, I'm just joking. But anyways, we are headed out to do something fun with the kids because we've been doing like a lot of working around the property and a lot of chore stuff this holiday weekend and I know for you guys in the states while well, you're watching this it is the 4th of July and you guys are getting a holiday so happy 4th of July to all of you and guess who we're waiting on yeah who are we waiting on Gabby yeah I went to do something in the bathroom and as soon as I walked in the bathroom Gabby was like what shirt should I wear all right well that was random but it's I am very random <laughs> I'm random too I'm own it sister yeah she's proud of being random I'm proud of being random too Sam are you random no, I'm not random. He's oh my repetitive. Gosh, the, queen the queen is about to arrive. She's got on some black jeans and a black shirt and a blanket. Towel. Sweater. Sweater. Yeah, because you know it's not 100 degrees out here. <laughs> Gabby, you're going to be hot. It's not on. Gabby, you're wearing black. So? Anyways, welcome to today's video. We'll show you guys where we're headed when we get there. Someplace fun to relax and just enjoy our afternoon. We are out to get ice cream, and these are all the fla flavors. Look at this dinosaur toy. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. Anyway, this is a candy store. We've been here before. There's a hot lava lamp. That's a giant lava lamp. Anyway, it's all the old fashioned candy. But we came here not for candy, we came here for ice cream. Oh, that's cool. I want it. They even have these toffee kind of candies. Guava candy. But we're not getting candy. We're not getting candy, right? Candy sticks. Suckers. Old fashioned toys. Yeah, I want moose tracks too. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Comment below. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Look at A jump rope. Chinese jump rope. That's weird and cool. Buddha babies. That's well, like a ginormous dinosaur toy. It's cute. Unicorn poop slime. You can also buy, I've showed you guys this before, but you can also buy like any kind of little tiny candy. Kind of like a bulk food store, but for candy. This whole store is all candy. And I can honestly say that I like a lot of these things. I don't like gummy candies, but I like these. I like these. I like these. I like hot lips. I like these, these, these. Sophie likes everything. I like these sour orange candies. Sophie especially likes fried eggs. These, but not sour. So then in the back, they have all the special stuff. Like those are mega sour, like the most sour candy in the whole world. And then they have like a bunch of different stuff back there. And when you buy it, you buy it in little packages like this, but you pick your own. Hay check day two. Actually, we cut the hay Friday night. So tonight is the end of day two. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, yeah. So technically tonight we could probably cut it, but look at all the grass that you didn't cut. I'm not used to the level of the thing. I wasn't 
It's his first time, guys. So the field got a bad haircut. The field got a bad haircut, but it will. We can cut it again. Test. Test the hay. Test the hay. We're nearing the end of day two. Not ready yet. Almost though. So probably bailing tomorrow. Maybe yeah. Tomorrow for sure. Yep, tomorrow for sure. Everyone starts somewhere, you guys. I feel like this has been a, such a huge learning and growth experience for us. Like, when we, Sam wanted to move to this farm. He's like, I found us a farm. And I was like, no way. And he talked me into going to see the farm. And then I said, no way for sure. And then I showed some of my friends pictures. And they said, no. <laughs> I remember when we came to look at the house, I fell in the snow. You fell in the snow? Yeah. Anyways, this is like, every time we buy a new house, it's always me saying like, I love this house, I love this house. And Sam saying, I don't really love this house, but fine, you can have it. And then every time we live there, he's always like, I hate this house, I hate this house. And this house is the house that Sam picked for us. What's wrong with it? You see a leak? Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise, guys. Trouble in paradise. <laughs> Can't have a leak now. Pray for us that Sam figures that out. So we've always we've always been taught never give your horse second cut hay, but then we have friends and they do give their horse second cut hay. And so I'm curious, what do you guys think? It must be different in different areas. Where we live, they say it's really rich for horses. Sam found wild raspberries a whole bunch of them and then there's another patch too this is by the barn so there's a whole batch here and then sam found another big huge batch back here but they're not quite ready and they look like they're gonna be small but still i would eat them this is what our horses do, our horses do. <laughs> they're like hello <laughs> hi ponies so sophie and i want to set up a new obstacle course in here for penny hello Hello, Penny. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Willow. Willow's all dusty. Yeah, she had a dust bath in the arena. Well, hello. You coming to say hello? We got Gabby here, too. Penny! Penny's like, you will not... Gabby's so quiet, she never shows up in the videos unless I specifically vlog her. I know, yeah, you think we're gonna boop you. There. She just like, what? I just like to be there. She just likes to be there. She's like a ghost. She just appears. Sam is like that too. It's so funny. Like, Sophie is a lot like Sam, but then she's a lot like me too. And then Gabby is a lot like Sam and a little bit like me. So Sophie's a lot like me, a little bit like Sam. And then Gabby is a lot like Sam, a little bit like me. And Sam is quiet. They're both shy. Both shy, quiet hey, people. My hand. Did she? She's hey, like, like, give me some you. treats. I taught Penny a really bad habit. You taught her a bad habit? Yeah, pushing everything she can see. I know, I love that habit. She's like, I really just want to know if you guys have treats. Nope, not this bush. This is a nice bush though. We haven't been, whoa, we haven't been back here in a long time. I know. Oh, there's some. Yeah, there's a bush. I don't think they get enough sun though. I'm telling you right now, if something touches my foot, and I think it's a snake, I'm screaming. Can this... we go to the beach? Well, I asked you guys if you want to go to the beach today, and you both said no. Anyway, Sam, oh, remember you guys, we put a pool here before? Sam always keeps this whole section cut for us. And my grandkids are be coming soon, and we're going to be able to pick berries, hopefully. I think that one's great. Well, I don't know if they're like raspberries, or if they're like... <laughs> Blackberries. I feel like they're raspberries. Mmm. Mmm. Try one. I don't like raspberries. I found an octopus though. Gabby does not like raspberries, but Oops. she found an octopus. Can you try this one before I try it? <laughs> My your tester? Mm. Your germs are on it. <laughs> uh oh. This is where I'm nervous of snakes and ticks. Although I have to say we've never really come across ticks. None of our, That's actually. such a cute photo. If I had my phone, now I'd make a perfect photo. Of have you had ticks before, Gabby? Have we, have our dogs had any ticks? Ruby. Oh, Ruby had a tick? Oh, mosquitoes. Like, look at that hay. That is high hay. 
Yum. They're kind of just everywhere. Yeah, they're just randomly everywhere. Here's oh, there's one. a red one. Oh, there's a red one. It's not like we're going to be baking a pie with these. There's just not enough. Yeah, that's how big it is, guys. Should I try it, guys? Look how big our hay got. Should I try it? So the reason, sure. The reason Sam doesn't cut back here is because the ground is all a mess. And there's like, the guy who used to own this house had like a lot of junk and stuff back here. Like some poles like that. So they're all in there. We can't. And there's water in there. So if Gabby says she's ridden Finn back here. Like there's a nice path here that Sam cuts. Yeah, I think we should do it, you guys. I think I'm gonna do it. No, there's hills and holes. Hills and holes? Mm -hmm. Well not back here, but like. Mm -mm. <gasps> I just we can make this into a racetrack for Willow. Yeah, that'd be fun. With jumps on, I just have to run with Willow and she'll jump the jumps. Yeah, alright, go get her. Oh my gosh, we should do that. We should put jumps out here and make it like a little jumping course. Cross country. Put our poles back here. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Love that idea. Like it's new to them. Yeah, a I new thought... area. Yeah, Sophie thought of it. I love it. And our horses have been back here before. Not Penny, I don't think. Gracie has. Gracie has and Willow has. No, not Willow. Yeah, Willow has. Remember we did oh yeah, maybe not Willow. We brought hay. Willow! Willow here! Willow! Willow Grace, Gracie's it. like, I want the biggest one. Willow, eat it. Uh-uh. Look, Willow. her teeth are all green. Whoa. <laughs> Penny, you're missing out. Well, the other day we posted a video of Sophie's um, lunging lesson with Chance, and we loved it. Did you? I loved it. Did you love it? Yeah. So, anyway, um, I, yesterday I videoed about how Sophie feels about it. Everybody has kind of heard like how I feel about it and we've heard how some of you guys feel about it and Some of you guys are still on the fence about chance and I think it's like time we hear about how Sophie feels about chance I feel like Willow's still the best. You feel like Willow's still the best? Yeah, because I just have to run towards the jump and she'll jump it. Oh, yeah, like this me. pony is trained to do whatever Sophie's wildest dream is. I don't even is. know how I trained her. Yeah, well do you think that you'll be able to tra train chance to be like that? I spent a lot of time into this. Mm-hmm, because she's home with us. Yeah. Uh-huh, but do you still think that you'd be able to spend, like, do you think Yeah, just less, because we came here, like, down here, like, every single day in the winter. We yeah. We don't go to the run that much. Yeah, we're not, we don't, we spend more time with the horses that we have at home, for sure. But, okay, so, Sophie, I'm gonna ask she's, you some. She's like, if I give you questions. I'm gonna ask you some questions that people have brought up in the comments the last couple of days, okay? You good for that? Yeah. All right, so, number one, you always buy Gabby nice horses and poor Sophie only gets awful horses. My horse is nice. You think your horse is nice? Yes. Yeah. I don't like I the horses Gabby likes. Why don't you like the horses Gabby likes? Because she likes calm horses. I don't. <laughs> I like calm horses. Your I, also, horse? I also like... Chan um, Chance is so calm, though. I also like young horses. Do you? Really? Well, they're the kind of horses that I like. <laughs> they're the kind of horses you've only gotten. And I like that kind of Yeah, how old was Finn when we got Finn? Nine? No, he was like seven. Everybody thinks that you need a schoolmaster to progress on. I can just use Gumber. Yeah, so you have it. That's what I feel like too. I feel like she has a schoolmaster and she's gonna continue to ride him and show him and use him for the whole season and that's gonna be amazing and I, I agree. So what, what do you wanna do with Chance? Like what's your goal with Chance? Um, to do jumpers. To do jumpers and low level jumpers and also. And obviously some hunting, hunter shows. Yeah, because we do a lot of hunter shows. Yeah. Are you scared of Chance though? Like he no. ran off on you the other day. How did you feel about that? Um, that was just some baby. That was his baby brain. Moving. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like since we started leasing him two months ago, well, we actually have only been leasing him for a shorter time than that, but. Do you feel like with leasing him, we've kind of let him get away with stuff and now he's learned to take advantage? Yeah. yeah. So what, what, no what's way. your plan moving forward, Sophie? I have no clue. <laughs> Make it up as I go. Make it up as I go. Um, so I think our plan moving forward is to access all the help that we have, all the um, people that are helping us and and go forward that way. And I think the biggest setback that we've had is finding a saddle to fit. 
Yeah. Yeah, and some people don't understand why it takes so long and how come we're doing it the way we are doing it. We have used saddle fitters that work for companies in the past and both of our girls have custom saddles and uh, we'll probably do that again if we ever buy him, if it turns out that that's the horse that we're gonna keep. Whatever horse Sophie ends up with forever, we'll get a custom saddle. But because he's not where he needs to be yet physically, uh, we're taking the route of a saddle fitter. And the saddle fitter that we're using doesn't have like a massive supply of saddles that she can try. So she's having to figure out what he needs and then go out there and find a saddle for us. Can you think of any other questions that people wanna know? Do you have any last comments about Chance? Like, No. Are you scared of him? No. Why aren't you scared of him? Like, what is it about him that makes you not scared? Because he's just like every other horse. Yeah, and he's so calm. He's and just taller and younger. Yeah, and he's so laid back. But also, some I saw a comment where somebody said that we drug him. Sometimes I think that too. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I'm like, Brandon, what's wrong with this horse? There's something wrong. We don't drug him. We don't drug any of our horses. We have given horses this uh, supplement called quiescence. quiescence in the past, um, only when they've needed it. And it's, uh, it's a mineral supplement. It's not like a supplement that you buy to calm people down. It has magnesium in it. And if a horse is low in magnesium and that's why they're acting crazy, then it can calm them down that way. But it's not actually for calming a horse down. It's a mineral supplement, but none of our horses get it. We would never give a supplement to, to Chance we would never drug Chance because he's so laid back. Like, I have you ever seen a horse that laid back? Storm. I don't think Storm's that laid back. Storm is that laid back. Storm is lazier when you ride him. But Storm is so like, but Chance I mean, is like. Have you ever seen a horse dumber than Chance? Like when Chance goes out into the field and we, we take him back into the field and his mare is out there and she's in the field. Does he like get all excited? He's young. He's five. Yeah. He's got his own mare. He's the boss of the whole he field. Like a stallion, like. Yeah, like he thinks that you know he he's high in that in that field, and does he run and get so excited and be like, oh my gosh, I'm coming, wait for me? No. <laughs> Chance he, saves. He walks a little bit faster. Yeah, like he's he walks with a little bit of a purpose, but hardly at all. And his lip is always droopy. His, he's always relaxed. He's just, that's the kind of horse that he is. Like, it's part of the reason that we love him so much. And oh, there are drugs that can last like 30 days. And I don't know if there are drugs that can last longer than 30 days. I feel confident Chance was never drugged before we got him. He's never changed. He's always been exactly the same. And, oh, last question. What do you think, some people are saying like he's starting to get his energy back because he's starting to get more fit. And, well, no, I don't, I, I think he's getting slower. Do you think he's slower? I think yeah. he's the same. Like I don't think he's, he's much different. I think we let him get away with some things and then he got a little bit of, of, of misbehaving attitude, especially on the lunge line. But once you sit on him, he's pretty good. And um, I don't, I really honestly haven't, I don't see that he's really changed much. His disposition is so amazing. Everything, like I love that horse. Like there are some horses that you love and there are some horses that you really love. Okay. All right, all right, I think that's it. Q&A with Sophie about Chance. We haven't made any decisions at all yet. We're not even close to making a decision. We are just riding it out, you guys. Like, who knows what will happen. Sophie loves the idea of working with Chance, not just on, in the saddle. You guys see how she's worked with Willow so much on the ground at our house. And we used to video it a lot more before, but now we don't video as much. And that's just who she is, and I'm the same. I, I like horses like Chance a lot, too. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Tomorrow we'll be riding Chance in our lesson. And we're adding somebody to our lessons on Mondays. We have lessons, private lessons on Mondays, but we're adding somebody. Ooh. Somebody asked if they could join our lesson. Ooh. It'll be a surprise. Ooh. We'll see, you Ooh. guys will see tomorrow. We're gonna add somebody to our lessons. But anyway, thank you guys so much for all your kindness and all your kind comments and all your support about Chance and all your advice and all your comments today about your mistakes that you've made being an equestrian. I think it's really good to know that everybody makes mistakes, us included, us especially. Don't you know that you're beautiful, just the way